One question I have seen on a lot of missionary mom groups is how do we send music to our missionaries? That can be a little tricky because you can't use a streaming service like Spotify to send music to your missionary. They don't provide a downloadable MP3 file that you could send. So instead, you have to look for other methods to get a physical file to send to your missionary. Keep watching and I'll show you how we can do that. First, let's talk about the tools that you'll need to make this happen. First, you'll need access to MP3 files. Music streaming services such as Spotify and Apple Music, things like that, don't provide you with MP3 files. So I'll show you how you can get access to those in just a minute. Number two, you'll need access to a Google account so that you can share the music with your missionary. And number three, if you would like your missionary to listen to music on more than just their phone, you'll probably want to get them a Bluetooth speaker, just a little mini one, that they can connect to their phone. A bonus would be if it has a little slot for a micro SD card. You could then fill a micro SD card with music and get it to your missionary. They could stick it right in there and not even have to use their phone to listen to music. Okay, let me walk you through the process. Okay, the first place that you want to look for these MP3 files that you're going to need is on your own computer. Maybe over the years you have already downloaded music or you've taken CDs and already ripped it onto your computer. So you'll want to go to the music folder on your computer here and see if there are any files. Here on a Mac, if I just go over here to music and then click on the music folder and go to media and then click on music again, you'll see that I have some folders here that contain music from various artists. I'll just come over here and click on this one right here and click where it says abide with me. And you can see right here, I have an M4A file that I can go ahead and send to my missionary. One note, you may want to convert if it's something like an M4A, you may want to convert it to an MP3 so it's more compatible with your missionary's phone. Okay, so that is one place is just what's already on your computer. And we'll come back and show you how you would take this file that's on your computer and get it to your missionary. The next location to look for music is maybe just your old CD collection. Do you have some old CDs that have some great missionary approved music that you can rip onto your computer? There are lots of videos on YouTube on how to rip music onto a computer. So go ahead and search for those. I'm not gonna go through the process of that in this video. Okay, so you've gone through your own music, through your CDs and through what's on your computer and maybe you're still looking for more music. You could do a simple Google search for LDS MP3 music downloads. And that will actually pull up some websites where you can get free music to download. There's also a website called latterdaysaintmusicians.com that had quite a bit of music that is available for free download to your computer. The last place to look is where you're going to need to start paying for individual songs or albums. And that's through places like iTunes on Apple Music or through Amazon Music as well. I'm going to walk you through how to do that on Apple Music using iTunes. So let's go ahead and show you how you can get some music that way. One note, if you are on a PC, you're going to want to go to Apple's website and download iTunes to your computer to be able to do this. I am going to do this on a Mac. I am here on Apple Music and what I want to do is do a search for music that I can share with my missionary. So I'm going to come over here and do a search and say I want some music by Gentry. I can do a gentry search right there. And one really important thing to note when you're looking for music that you can download is to make sure you're in the iTunes store over here. Not your library, not Apple Music, but you want to be in the iTunes store. Once I've done that search, you can see it's pulled up albums by gentry or songs by gentry that I can go ahead and download. I can click right here on the album price and go ahead and purchase the album. Just by way of example, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this song right here, Be Still My Soul. I'll go ahead and click on the 129 and it's gonna ask me to sign in to buy. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then it's gonna ask me, are you sure you want to buy and download this song? And I'll click buy. You can see now that this song says play, which means that it has been downloaded to my library. I can view that over here if I go to recently added and then double click on the album. And you'll see here is Be Still My Soul right here. Okay, so if I want to go ahead and find this file right here so I could send it to my missionary, I could click on these three dots right here and click Show in Finder. 
And here's that file right here. One thing to note is that this is an M4A. You may want to convert that to an MP3 before. Let me show you really quick how you could do that in Apple Music. Let's jump back over here to Apple Music. And up here at the top, I'm going to click File, Convert, and then Create MP3 Version. That's converting the files right there. And now there's an MP3 version. If I come back over here to my Finder, you can see the MP3 version of the song. Next step is to upload the music to Google Drive. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Google Drive. And here in Google Drive, in the top left, I'm going to click the New button and click New Folder. And we're going to call this Missionary Music and click Create. And then I'll go inside that folder. And what I will do is click on New here and click File Upload. And then I'll go to where I have that music. I'll go to Music and then Music and Media music and then here's that gentry folder right there and i'm going to upload the mp3 and click open and you can see down here in the corner that it's uploading and now that file has been uploaded now the final step in all this is to just share this missionary music folder with your missionary you can do that over here on the right if this is not showing up for you it may look like this instead click on the little i right here and then you should see who has access and you can click manage access and you can go ahead and invite your missionary right there and click send and that will give your missionary access to that music folder. You can then go ahead and continue to upload music. All you would do is click new and file upload to add music to this folder and they would have access to anything that you add in the future as well. They'll have access to the entire folder. The missionary can now open the folder on their phone on Google Drive and go ahead and play the music straight out of there. I hope you found this video helpful in getting music to your missionary. You may also want to check out this video where I explain how to set up partner sharing so your missionary can automatically share photos with you.